Hello, my name is Naftali Ida. I manage the application engineering team here at Polyjet for Stratasys. Today I'm going to give you a short video demonstration about water-soluble support, also called WSS150. I'm going to show you how to remove the parts from the build tray, take those parts and then remove the support from them in two ways. First off, we're going to look at removing the support with a dishwasher and then in a static water bath. Using these methods, you'll be able to achieve optimum part quality, excellent surface finish and fantastic mechanical properties. So the first step is to remove the parts from the build tray and to do that, we'll use a scraper. These are two different types of scrapers. This is more rigid and this is more flexible. I like to use the one that's got a bit more flexibility. I find it easier uh, and more successful to remove the parts. You'll notice that there is a perimeter around the parts. Uh, it's important to come at the part from a number of locations uh, around the part and move the build tray before you go in and remove the part in one go afterwards. Before we get started, a word on safety. Recommended to wear gloves and to use safety goggles when removing parts from the build tray. So with my flexible scraper, I'm now going to lock my tray into position and we're going to approach the part from a number of uh, locations. So we're going to start off here and we will insert the scraper. We can lock the tray and come at it from another location to gently pry the part up to avoid damaging it in any way. And there we go. There we have our part easily removed. So now that we've removed all the parts from the tray, we can simply take off the carpet in a single go and we'll have a clean tray underneath ready for the next print. There are two ways you can remove WSS 150 from your printed parts. The first is using a static water bath. This is uh, recommended for parts with thin wall geometry, say under 1.5 millimeters, uh, tubular channels and delicate parts, or you can use a dishwasher where geometry allows. For the parts that are to be removed with static water bath, you simply take the parts and you put them into the water, like so, and you leave them there to soak until the support has been removed. And here's one I prepared earlier. The time it takes to remove WSS 150 from the parts is related to the amount of support that is on the part and the complexity of the geometry. For example, thin enclosed channels will take longer than support that is on the surface of the part. Where you have parts soaking in the water bath for extended periods of time, it's recommended to replace the water with fresh water every day that the parts are soaking in the bath. Where the geometry allows, we recommend using a countertop dishwasher like this, or you could use a more professional dishwasher that lets you more precisely define the cycle and temperature times and durations. With a dishwasher, you typically have a tray that's suitable for cutlery and crockery, and we recommend using a grill like this, placing that into your dishwasher base, making sure that it's nice and level to provide a surface for the parts that you printed. Now we take our parts and it's important to position them on the tray in the same orientation in which they were printed. When selecting a dishwasher, it's recommended to choose one that will consume per cycle six to nine liters of water and ideally have a longer cycle time and a smaller water consumption. This will be better off or minimize the number of cycles that you'll be required to do to effectively remove the support material and also will result in less wastewater for you to post-process after. When selecting the cycle for the parts to be washed, it's recommended to select the lowest temperature possible on the dishwasher to minimize possible part deformation. Here we have our drain from our dishwasher and we recommend that the drain goes into a disposable jerry can 
and the wastewater will fill up the jerry can. Now, if you use a 20 liter jerry can, you'll be able to then use one half kilo bag of our L2S powder. L2S is liquid to solid wastewater absorption powder. And this can simply be poured straight in and then the contents of the jerry can will solidify in about five minutes. Once the liquid has solidified, you can simply close it up and dispose of it according to your local regulations. Parts printed with Elastico may absorb water during the support and material removal process and will appear milky afterwards. Don't worry, this discoloration will disappear once the part has fully dried. Thank you for joining us on this tutorial on how to remove support with the water soluble material from your intricate parts like this. You're now ready to get printing for yourself. If you need more information, please see the application note for WSS 150. We look forward to having you join us on the next tutorial.